<laughs> These people behind me are the key players in Louisville's war on the heroin and opiate epidemic, and they say Louisville needs to become a more recovery-oriented community. It was devastating. Um, it was devastating to me because I felt like um, I felt like they were not going to give me an opportunity. Tara Mosley told this group of substance abuse professionals it was easy to lose hope in recovery. Those professionals are working on a solution, building a recovery-oriented community. A recovery-oriented community is one in which resources and agencies uh, align for the benefit of individuals uh, trying to recover from substance use and mental health disorders. If the agencies at this summit work together, their clients are less likely to fall through the cracks. So part of the shift in the evolution of a recovery-oriented community is bringing everyone together, really helping an individual move from clinical management into self-management in the community. It also means convincing the community to have compassion for those in recovery. When has shame and judgment ever changed a person's life? It doesn't. And making short-term housing and support programs immediately available. There's no, like, come back in a week or come back in two weeks. They'll be able to get the service that they need. And then when they complete, there won't be a handoff service. It'll be all-encompassing, here you go. And on Friday, Louisville Mayor Greg Fisher is expected to announce a new strategy incorporating many of the ideas expressed here today. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.